All right, today what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a pickle jar. So I'm going to start by creating a simple background. So I'm going to grab my rectangle tool and I'm going to draw a couple rectangles. Uh, one will be like a back wall and the other will be a table. So I'll just put those in here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove my stroke. So uh, let's take out the stroke there and um, I'll just use my gradient tool. I'm going to set this to a 90 degree angle here, my gradient tool option. And I may change the colors from black to white to something oh, a little more colorful. So I might throw some blue and some orange in there. Why not? Okay, so if you just double click on these little uh, gradient slider balls, you can change the colors there. So I'll do the same thing. Here, I'll switch this to a 90 degree angle, but I want this to maybe a table, so I might just use a couple of shades of brown here. I'll have a light brown and a dark brown. Okay, so now I've got my basic table. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open up my layers, lock this layer, create a new layer. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start by drawing uh, a pickle that I'm going to use to put in my pickle jar. So I'm going to switch from my rectangle tool to my ellipse tool, and I'm going to go ahead and draw an ellipse here. Okay, so now that I've drawn this ellipse, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to warp the shape a little bit with my uh, direct selection tool. So if I come up to the top here and click on that top anchor point, I'm going to maybe tweak that handle, stretch it out a little bit, and I'll grab this other one and do the same thing. Click on the anchor point and stretch the handle. Then I'm going to click on these two anchor points on the side, and if I hold shift I can select them both, and with the arrows on my keyboard I'll just push them over to the right to give my pick a little bit of a bent look to it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make this a green pickle. And um, we're going to use something new. Um, I'm going to use a mesh tool today to, to add a little bit of color and shape to it. So I'm going to deselect this first. And I'm going to select my mesh tool. And then I'm going to use a lighter shade of green. With the mesh tool, what that does is it creates some points across your shapes. So I'm going to click here at the top to create uh, a little mesh point and maybe somewhere down here on the bottom. And this will kind of round out the shape or make it look like it's a little bit rounder. Okay, uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a few little spots on my pickle to make it a little bit lumpy. So I'll just draw a couple of ovals on here. I zoom in here. So if you hit Control plus you can zoom in or Control minus you can zoom out. Um, so I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. I might take my direct selection tool and kind of tweak that oval shape a little bit. Okay, so maybe I'll make that a darker green and I'll maybe go ahead and uh, I'll deselect that. Use my mesh tool on this like I did previously. So I'll switch to a lighter green and click inside there. And I might just add a couple more shapes, little ovaly shapes to that that I'll maybe tweak a little bit to uh, make it look a little more organic in shape. So let's take a few minutes and I'm going to add just a few of these on here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, a stem to my pickle jar. So I'm going to switch to my rectangle tool and I'm going to draw a little rectangle here. Okay, uh, now what I'm going to do is I want to round out these anchor points a little bit here on the bottom. So I'll just click on the little left one, hold shift, click on the right. And then what I can do is up here at the top, I can convert this to a smooth corner. So it's going to kind of round that out a little bit, but I'm going to maybe twist that a little bit uh, using my direct selection tool and a couple of anchor points. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to color this too using my mesh tool. So I'll deselect that, grab my mesh tool, 
grab a lighter shade of green and just create a little highlight through there. All right, so now I've got my pickle all put together. I'll just select all the parts of the pickle and I'll group it together. So you can either go under object and group or you could right click and group. Either way, it'll do what you want it to do. So I'll set this off to the side for a minute. We'll come back to that later. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to create uh, the jar for my pickle jar. So I'll start with my rectangle tool and I'm going to draw a rectangle here. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to remove the fill color and I'm going to use white for my stroke. So it'll give this more of a transparent look to it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my ellipse tool and I'm going to draw a couple of ellipses here. I'll do one for the top of the jar. And when I draw that, I want my anchor points to line up on the top and on the bottom here. So I don't want this to be any wider than the original rectangle. And I want the anchor points on the sides of my ellipse and the sides of my rectangle here to match up. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the top circle and the rectangle and then I'm going to use my pathfinder tool. And if you ever can't find your pathfinder tool, just look under window and you'll find it. And I'm going to go ahead and unite those two shapes together. Okay, so now it's going to round out the top of my rectangle. And then here at the bottom, what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to divide these two shapes. So I'll select those two shapes with my selection tool. And then with my pathfinder, I'm going to then divide it. Okay, so after I divide it, um, I'm going to ungroup it. So if you right click, you can ungroup. You could also go under object and ungroup. Either way, it'll do the same thing. After I ungroup it, I'll deselect it. And I'm going to select the two halves of the circle and I'm going to unite those two halves together. Okay, so now I've got the base of the jar and the top of the jar. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw uh, some liquid inside of this jar. So I'm going to grab my rectangle tool and I'm going to build this similarly to how I built the jar. But I'm going to not have it be quite as wide as the jar because we want it to look like it's sitting inside the jar, not up to the edge there. So I'll take my ellipse tool and I'm going to draw an ellipse here for the bottom. And I want the anchor points to line up on those just like I did previously. So I'll have this be the same width as this new rectangle. And I want the anchor points of the rectangle and the anchor points of the circle I just drew to line up. So I'll select those two shapes, unite them together. And now I'm going to draw an ellipse here for the top. And this will become the top part of the liquid. So I'll just line up the anchor points, have it be the same width again. And I'll select those two pieces, divide them with my pathfinder, ungroup them by right clicking and selecting ungroup. Now I'm going to select the two halves of the circle and unite them together just like we did previously. Okay, so for this liquid, uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to remove the stroke and I'm going to uh, throw some color in here. So maybe I'll use kind of a green, greenish yellowy color so it looks like pickle juice. And I might make the top of that, uh, maybe we'll make that a little, a little bit lighter. Okay, so I'm going to select these two pieces. And I'm going to use my transparency tool. And if you can't find your transparency tool, just look under window, scroll down until you find it. And what we're going to do now is we're going to switch this from normal to multiply so that we can see through the liquid there. Okay, so now what I can do is I can take this pickle that I drew earlier. I might shrink that down a bit. I can whoop, bring that over and since it's behind there, it'll just sit there in the pickle jar. I might make a copy or two of it. If you hit Control C and Control F, it will paste it right on top of itself. We can kind of spin that around a little bit. 
Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to send this jar line to the back. So go object, arrange, send to back. Alright, now I got my pickles in the jar. Maybe what I'll do is um, we'll maybe create a little bit of a shadow underneath these pickles. So I'll just draw a few little ellipses here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all three of those. So if you hold shift, you can select all three. And I'm going to switch this to multiply. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to send those to the back. So if you right click, you can go right click, arrange, and send to back. So then all those will sit behind the pickles. So we've got a little, little shadows there. Okay, so now we're going to draw a couple more things. We're going to create a lid and we're going to maybe add a label to this. So to draw the lid, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my ellipse tool and I'm going to draw an ellipse here that will become the top of the jar. I'm going to make a copy of that. And I'm going to overlap these two shapes. Like so. Okay, uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my rectangle tool and I'm going to draw a rectangle to overlap those shapes here. And I want the rectangle to uh, line up with the anchor points of this bottom ellipse. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to select those three shapes and I'm going to divide them using my pathfinder. So I'll hit divide. And after you divide it, you need to ungroup, so right-click ungroup. And then what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to, okay, so get rid of some of this extra stuff. We'll just hit delete, get rid of that. Uh, then I'm going to unite some of the stuff together to create a complete cohesive piece here. Okay, so I've got a few pieces here on the side, so I'll just hold my selection tool while I select the different parts that are chopped up and I'll use my pathfinder to unite them together okay alright so now what I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and take off that stroke there and I'm going to use my gradient on this to uh, round out the shape so I'll just drag some green in there uh, maybe I'll get rid of this brown Make that a dark green, and then I'll maybe add a lighter green in between. Okay, I'll use that same thing for the top. I'm going to switch that to radial, and I'll get rid of one of these extra greens. And whoop, there we go. Let's grab the jar lid. I'll just slide that down a bit. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a label for this. So I'm going to grab my rectangle tool. I'm going to draw a little rectangle in there. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to warp that shape. So if we go under Effect to Warp, and I'm going to use the Arc option. So I'm going to have that set to Horizontal. I'm going to do a negative 5% bend and about negative uh, 2% on my vertical. So I'll go ahead and click OK. And since I warped the shape, I'm now going to go ahead and expand the appearance. So to expand the appearance, I'll go under Object, Expand Appearance. And now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to take my Type tool, and I'm going to make a little type box. And we'll type out what we're going to call it, Pickles Me. Or if you want to call it something else, call it something else. And I'll switch from my Type tool to my Selection tool, and then I'll go under Type and create outlines. That way I can adjust the size and shape of that. So I'll go ahead and apply the same arc to that and expand the appearance as well. And maybe I'll go ahead and change the color of that. Alright, there we have it. Some pickles in the jar.